that we are riding a horse to Petra. Uh, very pretty rock formation. Alice is back there. Got my horsey. Hi. <laughs> on our way down to the sick. We continue on to Petra. Sorry if the video is a bit bouncy. Pretty awesome. Here we are. Uh, just the opening to head into Petra. The sick. So this is about a half mile walk. Um, completely surrounded by these high walls as you can see. And uh, probably about a good half mile or so. We'll see you on the other side. Again walking through the sick and as you can see they have the aqueducts that they built to bring water down to the city of Petra. Um, they had one side for specifically for drinking and then they had another side uh, specifically for water for irrigation uh, so that they could water all their crops and things. So. As you can see, the walls are very, very tall. We've been walking for probably about 15 minutes or so. And uh, again, just the carved out wall um, for the water to run. Cool stuff. Okay, so it's February 19th, right around 10 o'clock or so. And uh, we've been walking through the sick for about a half mile or so. And uh, we come around the corner here. Yeah. And we start to get our first view. Oh, you want to be a good teacher for your students. I do want to be a good teacher for my students. <laughs> and uh, we'll see more once we get in there. Hello everybody, today is February 19th, 2013. Here we are in the city of Petra in the country of Jordan. This city is without a doubt Jordan's most valuable treasure and its greatest tourist attraction. It's a very unique city carved right into the sheer rock face by the Nabataeans, an industrious Arab people who settled here more than 2,000 years ago. It was established possibly as early as 312 BC um, and, the cap and was the capital city of the Nabataeans. It is a symbol of Jordan. The city of Petra turned into an important stop along the trade routes linking China, India, and southern Arabia with Egypt, Syria, Greece, and Rome. In later centuries, the caravans and traders uh, changed the major trade routes between Asia and Europe, uh, so traffic through Nabataean territory kind of dried up, and as a result, uh, Petra became deserted and kind of forgotten, um, and it remained unknown for thousands of years. Uh, it was again brought to attention of the Western world in 1812 when it was introduced by a Swiss explorer named Johann Ludwig Burkhardt. Uh, entrance to the city is through the Sick, which is a big narrow gorge if you take a look right over here, um, which is about a half mile in length or so. Um, it's flanked on either side by about 200 foot tall high cliffs. Uh, just walking through the Sick is an incredible experience in itself. Um, the colors and formations of the rocks are amazing. Petra is known as the Rose Red City uh, for the color of the rocks in which Petra is carved. As you reach the end of the Sick, you'll catch your first glimpse of um, the Treasury Building uh, that you see here. Um, this is the most well-known building that you'll find uh, within Petra. Okay, um, It was first built as a mausoleum and crypt at the beginning of the first century. Uh, its nickname is the Treasury, uh, derives from one legend that bandits or pirates hid their loot in some stone urns that you'll see way at the top up there. Um, so as you can actually see, there's a bunch of bullet holes that you'll find within the area. Um, that's because people used to shoot up at it, and hopefully that gold would actually fall down at them. Okay? A lot of people say that that's a legend, um, that there was gold in there. It was not true, um, but it still uh, gained that name anyway. Um, it's actually appeared in many Hollywood films, gaining particular fame after being featured in the ending scene of the 1989 uh, third Indiana Jones movie with Harrison Ford, Sean Connery. Uh, it was actually represented as the entrance to the final resting place of the Holy Grail. The city of Petra was uh, voted in as one of the new seven wonders of the world back in 2007. Uh, Petra joins two other wonders of the world that are within Asia. Obviously you have the Taj Mahal um, over in India and then the Great Wall of China that you have over, um, well obviously in China, makes sense. Um, this wonder is absolutely amazing um, and like I said this is not the only building that you'll find within Petra um, we've, so, we've seen hundreds of different types of caves uh, buildings um, tombs throughout the entire city um, really really pretty uh, the red rock is absolutely magnificent and uh, hopefully you'll get to get here someday see you later